Hey guys, how's it going? Dark times, and I'm bored. Yeah, and I made that background, you know? And you probably saw the new intro. I've been messing around with Google SketchUp, and um, yeah, I found some really cool properties and stuff to make your uh, make your stuff look good, you know? So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make either a background or a um, intro, like mine, in Google SketchUp. So, here's my Minecraft background. Very cool. Um, I really hope that doesn't look funky, you know? Because I have auto pan on. I forgot to take it off. And I have full screen on, so I sure hope that doesn't do anything weird. But, um, yeah, so, you're going to need Google SketchUp, obviously, and you're just going to need to follow my steps. So, we'll open it up, and you're going to want to go to choose uh, template architectural design feet and inches. And click start using Google SketchUp. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is delete this little dude here because he gets pretty annoying. And then you're just gonna position your 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 like uh, camera view or whatever, like towards the thing. I'm pretty sure there's a, a view like camera top or something. Um There's a view, top view or something, I don't know, somewhere, but I, I, I just never bothered with that. Alright, so, now what you want to do is come up here to view, or not, sorry, not view, tools, uh, 3D text, and you're going to enter your text. Now, I'm not going to make anything special, I'm just going to do this, and um, what I find works really good is 10 feet by 5 feet. Um, the extrude is how like it comes up, like how far it comes up. So that's like the thickness of it, and the height is just like the text itself. It'll be yeah. So we'll just do enter text and this, and here's our three D text. All right, we'll click it. Now, if I zoom in here, whoa, hello. If I zoom in here and show you this, you can see under the end, you can see the lines. And under the E as well, you can see the lines where it uh, has to create more layers and stuff. And that looks really messy, so we're going to clean that up first. So we're going to go to um, Window, and we're going to go to Soft, uh, Soften Edges. Oh, sorry. You've got to select your thing first, and then go to Window, Soften Edges. And then I usually just drag this up to like 89 whatever because it gets it the best you can without uh, doing this weird thing like that so I just do 89 and close alright and then you go around and here it's just a smooth curve looks looks a lot nicer so now we're going to uh, give it a shadow like you saw and um, to do that you're going to go to view shadow and it's going to give you this really long shadow and everything you might not like that so let's go to window shadows and we can change the darkness of the text and the shadows and stuff and um, I usually just have mine at 50 which is default and the light I just put it 100 because it looks better and then um, the month is basically how long it is and like how curved or whatever. I usually just do like 10-3 and then my time, as you can see that makes it darker and everything and stretch out farther. I usually just do it at a good angle. Alright, and I don't know what from edges does but we'll just check it anyways. So as you can now, a 3D test with a backdrop, or a backdrop, sorry, um, drop shadow and that looks pretty nice so if you want to save this as a background for your computer or something you can go file uh, export and you can do 2d graphic and it'll save it as a PNG um, and uh, now to do like an intro or something with it um, you can uh, go to view animation Add scene, and we'll go ahead and 
rotate or something and then we'll go ahead and update our scene so that it starts here and we'll just rotate around so that it goes here and then we'll go view animation add scene and then uh, for the transition speed you go to settings and you can set it for two seconds or whatever Let's see the scene delay um, I don't like to have scene delay because at the beginning it'll add a short second where it's not even there and then it'll go but um let's go to scene one and let's go to view animation and we'll go play and then here's what it'll do it'll animate over to the text and now it's gonna play back and forth um, but once you set it as a uh, export it as a video it will um, just stop after it gets there which make you can uh, make it go slow and then just get when it's coming from kind of an angle and then go in there just to make it look like it's uh, just barely showing and then just kind of reveals it more yeah um so now to save it oh wait someone might ask to change the color so I better do that in here as well so what you're gonna have to do is select your text no you don't even have to select your text really but select your text anyways go to window and go to and there's going to be tab in here it's a select and then there's three oh my god shut up dog and oh my god please just don't bark and then you're gonna select colors alright and um just select the color of really red or something and dye that there we go alright now we have this red text then to save it go file export animate and I would just try exporting it um, uh, you're gonna oh sorry you're gonna go into the options and you're going to choose your um, resolution of your video 16 by 9 is the widescreen and uh, frame rate you're gonna want to do 30 and um, don't check either of these unless you want this one to uh, so that when it gets done it just opens up and plays um, and I think this is the only codec you get oh I don't know okay well you can select one of these um, yeah I don't know so I'm not gonna mess with that but um, I tried this unchecked at first and then if it's blurry just come back in and check it again and then click render and it'll take about a minute to render the video and I'm not gonna do it because that's boring and um, you're just gonna save it as intro or something of the sort and you're done so I sure hope this helped thank you for watching sorry for my annoying uh, dog but you know it's cool it's cool right alright so if you this video how or, or entertaining in any way if you did, that's all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, peace.